or in that I was talking about. I just want to add a little bit of blur to this railing piece. It still looks a little bit too crisp to me. The other pieces, even though we pulled them out because we needed to have them out uh, just for everything to stack up correctly, they don't really need any extra blurring. So that's going to be this piece right here. So we'll want to just come in after our scan line render along this pipe here and add a blur node. So um, let's just grab this one that we've already got right next to it, hit Control C, Control V, and we'll drop that in. Now that's already going to have some blur settings. It looks like that's at a 1.5. So if I disable it, you can kind of see the difference. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like at a full res um, zoom here. And I think that looks perfect. Just a little bit of blur is really all it needed to kind of clean that up there. Great. Okay, so let's uh, clear out our properties bin and start talking about light wrapping. So we're going to be doing this on our actor. So I want to scoot forward to a point in time when our actor is very visible. And he is going to be located right in here kind of as we were figuring out the in the last lesson and I think it actually might be easier to kind of name these merges we'll just call this actor and we'll call this one shadow just to keep it straight that seemed to be a little bit of um, you know a little bit confusing what which one is this actually controlling so if this is where our actor is merging in, we want to light wrap him just before that merge. So we'll hit the tab key and type in light wrap. And a light wrap is basically going to merge a little bit of the background on top of your actor. And so what will happen is it starts to really feel a lot more integrated, um, an actor or something you're adding to a shot, uh, maybe than it does without one. So I'm going to drop that onto this pipe. Now we still have a B pipe and that is for the background. Now this is going to be kind of difficult because as you recall, our background is coming from a lot of different places but what we can do is just grab the merge before that so if we look at this pipe this is what we're going to be merging him with so that's totally acceptable we can just plug that right in there and then if we look here at that final merge we are going to be able to see the effect of the light wrap however we don't really have it turned up right now. There's no intensity at all. So if I start turning it up, if I just go all the way, you can see that the lightest parts of my image are what will show up the most. But as you can see, this is too much. Um, we don't want him to look like he's a ghost. <laughs> so we'll just come in here and turn that up very subtly just to make his legs feel a little more integrated. The top half of his body really isn't in a place where um, any very light pixels are, so it's going to be difficult to tell um, any kind of light wrap in that area. Now, we still also want to light wrap our rock, so I'm just going to grab this light wrap, hit Control c and let's find where our rock is merging in. That's going to be right here. So just about right there. And I'm going to hit Control V to drop that in. And we'll just place that right there. Now, technically, I would probably want to um, go ahead and plug this in with one of our, you know, the merge right above that. But if you want to do one a little bit further up the pipe, um, that's acceptable as well. So let's go ahead and come back here to the very beginning. And you can see we've got a little bit of a light wrap since we copied and pasted. So if I select that light wrap and hit the D key, you can see where the light wrap is really starting to affect our rock. And for this one, I think we could turn the intensity up a little bit more since it is kind of out of focus. Um, however, that is still light wrap one. <laughs> so we don't want to do this too much because that's not even the correct light wrap. So we want to make sure we have the right one open. That's going to be light wrap too. And now we can really start to see those changes. And I kind of like the bokeh effect that it gets when this is turned up really high. 
but obviously that's a little bit more than we want. And so I'm just going to pull that down still higher than our actor. Um, and then also turn up the diffuse. So it's going to kind of creep over the edge of the rock a little bit more because we just have more pixels to work with here. Um, so kind of right in this area here is what that's the look I'm going for. Now one little thing I noticed while we were zoomed in really closely is that um, when we turn back on the displacement map for our sidewalk, this little card here kind of looks like it might be out of place and kind of maybe on top of something that it shouldn't be. So let's figure out what's going on there. That's our small cliff face. So that's this one right here. And you can see that that is merging in after the sidewalk and we need it to be before. So again, uh, we can just kind of move that walk path piece over along with its dot node. This is just kind of repeating what we did in our last lesson. And um, what I'm going to do this time is just disconnect both of those mer merge nodes completely and then just swap them like that. And then we can reconnect them, pull this little dot node down and that fixes our problem as far as where it was. So you can see now that's behind the um, walking path. However, it's kind of down too far in 3D space. So let's jump over to our 3D view and We'll kind of rotate in here. And this probably happened when we added our displacement, which is understandable. So we'll just grab that little bit, pull it up, and maybe even push it back slightly so that we're not getting, um, you know, some kind of issue there. I'm going to kind of pull this in, maybe down a little bit. And let's, we could even um, rotate this forward a bit so it's kind of tilting in this way. Okay, so that's going to help that a lot better. Let's go back to our 2D view and see how that looks better. I'm going to push it over a little bit to the side and maybe raise that up just a bit more. Perfect. Okay, great. That looks really much, much better, much more believable. Okay, so that about finishes up our light wrapping, blurring, and um, just a few small adjustments. Let's come back in the next lesson and we'll be adding some particles, some fog, and a bug that will kind of fly across and just again, adding all those tiny details to make this feel realistic and like it's